So let's suppose that we have a man standing on a scale in an elevator moving downward with an acceleration of 1.5 meters per second squared. Now, assuming the mass of the person is 84.0 kilograms, find part A and part B. So let's examine part A. Find what the weight of the person is and what the scale actually reads inside the moving elevator. So, here's our system. We have the elevator cart. We have the person inside the elevator standing on top of a scale. And the entire system, the elevator and the person, are moving downward with an acceleration of 1.5 meters per second squared. So, because our motion is downward, we choose the downward direction along the x-axis to be positive and the upward to be negative. So because we have motion, that means we have a net force acting along the y-axis. So the net force, the sum of the forces along the y-axis is equal to mass times acceleration according to the second law of motion. And this is equal to the sum of all the forces along our y-axis. So we choose downward to be positive, so our force of gravity, our weight, is going downward and it's positive and we and so we take that and we subtract the normal force which points upward from our weight of the object so once again the person is being pulled downward by the force of gravity at the same time the scale exerts a force upward called the normal force on the person so we want to solve for our normal force, this is our unknown. We know what the mass is of our person. We know what the rate of acceleration is of the person. And we also know the weight of the object. So the weight of the object is simply given by taking the mass of the object multiplying by the gravitational constant g, 9.80 meters per second squared. So, we get the following two results, so we rearrange our equation. We want to solve for our normal force, so we bring the normal force to the left side, everything else to the right side, and we get 823.2 newtons minus 126 newtons gives us a force of 697.2 newtons. This is the normal force of our person. So in other words, the normal force is the force that the scale exerts on that person. And what the scale actually reads is the action reaction force of the normal force. So the normal force is the force exerted by the scale on the person and the scale, according to the third law of motion, exerts or actually the person exerts a force onto the scale of the same magnitude but in opposite direction. So the scale actually reads this force and the mass that it uh, reads is this force divided by 9.8 meters per second squared and so it reads approximately 71 kilograms so the weight of the object is still 823.2 newtons but the scale actually reads 697.2 newtons because our entire system the person is accelerating downward now, what happens if the elevator is traveling downward with a constant velocity? Well, if the velocity is constant, that means we have no acceleration. And so our acceleration is zero, and that means the net forces, the sum of the forces along the y-axis is zero. So mass times A equals zero because our A is zero. And so the scale actually reads our weight of the object, which is A23.2 Newton. So in the case that our velocity of the elevator is constant, the scale reads 84 kilograms of mass.